What is good, YouTube? This is the FF Dynasty coming at you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below with either love or if you're feeling like some hate, throw some shade down there. Either way, it all greatly helps us out so we can keep bringing you new content. When running backs have a high odometer, a lot of carries on their on their um, resume there. We got 800, 845 carries for a guy like Dylan. We already talked about Jonathan Taylor, who had 900 and some odd carries in his career. Is that something that concerns you for a running back moving forward? Not a lick if they stay healthy. Not if they have, not if they have the um, medical reports to show that they. They don't have any chronic injury issues. They don't have anything that's debilitating. They haven't had surgery after surgery. Nothing's connected on that level. Then what that shows me is that he's proven he can carry the ball a lot and then stay healthy. And and while that there's no true, you know, correlation between that, and I've looked, you know, I mean, I've looked through, you know, years of of players who've led the NCAA and carries at least one year. And half of them over the past 15 years made the Pro Bowl. You know, nice. they're guys like Steven Jackson, um, you know, Michael the Burner Turner, Adrian Peterson, um, you know, Ray Rice, guys like that. Cedric Benson maybe wasn't a Pro Bowl player, but he was good. Certainly was a, you know, he was a decent player in the NFL. Even guys like Bobby Rainey, who were just career backups, but you could put him in the lineup, and he was a small guy who performed just fine. So, and then what I found is that if I look deeper and just look at guys who had a certain, at least a certain number of touches, like I think 700 attempts in, in a season, at least um, what I found is that they at least have that. I would say, I don't remember what the percentage was, but a high percentage of them averaged at least like, I want to say something like almost 800 yards and a certain number of touchdowns and were, were competent players at the very least. And so to me, it is, it's just, it, it's, it's a myth. It's just a worrisome myth. If the guy's healthy and he's and he's getting a lot of touches, you know, do you do that at work? I mean, I just don't. You know, do we do? I mean, I know that it's a physical game and people can yeah. get hurt, but you can't protect injuries. But you can kind of say the the guy knows how to to, to stay healthy, he knows how to protect. He himself. knows how to take contact and and. Dish it protect out. himself like you're saying, yeah. yeah. Right, and if he didn't have a bunch of carries, he'd be mad that he didn't have a bunch of work that, that you could look yeah, at, you know? So exactly. It's, he must not be that good because he, right. he wasn't used enough. And and just for the listeners out there, everything that, that Matt's telling us right now is is in his uh, rookie scouting portfolio, and it's all documented out there. And you, you can there's just tons of information, so I wanted to give it another plug, uh, Matt Wallman, rsp.com. Um, but let's 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 keep with talking about here A.J. Dillon. Um, Case, I know yeah, you, you got... Mentioned- you mentioned that you had Clyde Edwards and Dylan, you know, uh, ranked ahead of him currently. What is it that you like? Because a lot of people in the dynasty community, when they they're putting out avoid tweets and it's a, avoid AJ Dylan, you don't want AJ Dylan in fantasy, which I I don't agree with. I think he's got fantastic vision, sweet feet. I think he floats and kind of picks and slides his way through that offensive line. Um, I think that they're like, wow, oh, well, he's not powerful enough, and blah 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 blah. And I'm like, well. If he was just your traditional power back when he was 250 and, and the size and he just ran right up to the line, you guys would be complaining that that's all he does. He, just, he doesn't do anything else. He's just big and fat. He just runs into the back of the people and has no vision. But I think he's so much more than that. He knows how to use the power when he has it. And if you say he doesn't have any power, I don't think you're watching the same thing that I'm watching because he's just thwarting off guys when he's moving. You're not coming from the side of him at all. Like I, I, I really have been enjoying watching the A.J. Dillon tape. And so what... Why, why is he, why do you think people are saying avoid him and why are you so high on him? Well, for many of the reasons you just stated so well, you know, about what he does, those are, those are the main thrusts of it. He is a nimble player. He has a number of different nice moves. He doesn't just rely on one move though. He has a really sweet spin move. He's someone that can also, like you said, pick and slide, be able to make cuts. He knows when to bounce plays outside. He has good vision. He makes good decisions with the blocking scheme that he has, whether it's gap or zone. He knows how to be patient. He knows the, the balance between having a sense of urgency to hit a crease hard and when to actually press a crease and be patient and find the cutback lane. He's difficult in the open field because of the fact that he can make the second man miss and the third man miss. And he has enough burst and speed at his size that he's going to generate enough momentum that he is tough to tackle. Even up front, he's tough to tackle even before he generates that 
that runway down downhill. He's a very good blocker. He's 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 not you know maybe NFL ready to take on defensive ends on a regular basis and hold them off just for a minimal amount of time. But he has the potential to do so. He's not far away. Um, so he picks up a lot of blitzes. He moves pretty quickly in that regard. He's going to catch, catch check downs. And everything that you stated about how people seem to characterize him has been applied to Derrick Henry. You know, it's the, sa- it's the same application. It was applied to James Conner. It was applied to LeGarrette Blunt. It was, you know, you and the people, they get it wrong. But see, then when you pick a player like Andre Williams, it wasn't applied to Andre Williams because somehow I think he he had a fast time somewhere. And I guess they decided that, you know, it's to them, it's it, oftentimes it's about surface level things. And, and people oftentimes don't really understand what power really is. They don't understand what contact balance really is. And it's easy to, they, they see the highlights and they think of the flashy plays and you'll even see them often talk about smaller players and say, you know, look at the power that he has. And what's really happening is that he's in a pile and he's getting pushed by two guards, five yards downfield. <laughs> and they, they're like, see, he's got power. He's got just as much power as AJ. Dillon. he has even more power than AJ Dillon. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, no, he's got Andrew Thomas and Isaiah Peters, you know, pushing, pushing, you know, DeAndre Swift seven yards because he kept his feet, which is good, but still, you know, AJ Dillon, if he were in that situation, they might they might have like completely pushed it all the way down, you know, <laughs> you, you know, down <laughs> to the end of the field. That right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right. Well, I mean, that's I just it's gonna be interesting because we have uh Ray GQ on next week when he's the big Debbie guy he does writing for DLF. I'm not yeah, I'm not sure if you know who he is or I not. I do. Um, yeah. But he's he's a he's an anti Dylan guy, so it'll be fun to to uh, put him, put him in the, put his, hold his feet to the fire there, and, and say, "What's your problem, man?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll give a good argument, you know, and and you know he does good work, and and certainly someone who is who works hard through, you know, in this. So it's going to be interesting to see how he, how you know, how he responds to that, and, and yeah, what his thoughts are. <laughs>